Ed Herman, Brown and Crouppen partner, on KMOV4's Great Day St. Louis, discussing his amazing personal transformation from gastric sleeve surgery. Okay. One of our regular guests here at Great Day St. Louis recently underwent a major transformation. I don't uh, even recognize him anymore. Our honestly. buddy Ed Herman from Brown and Crouppen has lost more than, more than 150 pounds. He had gastric sleeve surgery a year ago and that operation shrunk his stomach from the size of a football to a small banana. The surgery was a great starting place for Ed, but it's not the magic pill. It's taken a lot of hard work to shed the weight and keep those pounds off. I caught up with Ed recently to find out how this surgery has changed his life and what to expect if you're considering a similar surgery. Let's talk a little bit about your life before the surgery, which was a little more than a year ago, and your life today. You brought a bag that basically kind of walks us through your daily routine pre-surgery. This is what I slept with. You know, every night I had to put this on my face, put it in my nose, attach this to a machine that sounds like Darth Vader, yeah. and sleep with this on my face all night. Uh, I used to have to take my blood pressure, you know, on a daily basis. So I had to buy one of the fat guy's large arm things because the original arm that came with this wouldn't even fit on my arm no kidding. and I'd have to monitor my blood pressure and take blood pressure medication and then the worst thing of all uh, anybody who's ever had diabetes knows what this looks like and this is more than a daily habit where you know you have to you know prick your finger and and measure your blood sugar and you're not doing any of this? Any of that. I don't have diabetes. I don't have sleep apnea. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't require medicine for any health condition. All I take now is just a vitamin. So why do you keep this stuff around? Is this a reminder of the way things once were? I, I do. I keep it around and, and I, I, for the same reason I keep some of my uh, old clothes around. I, I, I do it there to serve as a daily reminder that no matter how stringent my newly acquired habits are, I would still rather have my new habits than have to go back to the old habits. Wow, right? You know, wow. I think that a lot of people probably look at that and think he might be a little too thin, but I have to tell you, when he's in here, he's, his energy level is yeah. high, he, he tells us he yeah. feels great. Oh my gosh, he looks so much younger. He does. I thought he was in his 50s when he was at his high He's watching his this high right weight. now. Keep That's talking. okay. Yeah. I already told him this. Throw it up. Well, the, the change is remarkable. The weight loss he's is amazing. 40, by but the way. He's the first to admit it is not easy. Coming up in about 15 minutes, he shows us a few of the tricks that he uses to keep the weight off. And then later in the show, the emotional side of this and the unexpected impact it had with his wife. Mm, we'll talk wow. about that a little later. Well, earlier on Great Day, we showed you how Ed Herman, an attorney with Brown and Crouppen here in St. Louis, lost half of his body weight after having gastric sleeve surgery about a year ago. The surgery is not magic. Ed still has to work very hard monitoring what he eats. Take a look at this. The surgery is not the end of the process. It's the beginning of the process. The one thing they reminded us of is, remember, when you wake up from the surgery, you're still going to be heavy. But the surgery is just a mechanism that now allows you to start making good choices, eating healthy things, and having that be satisfying for your, your body. My eating rules are like this. I don't drink any liquid calories. I could eat whatever I want, but whatever's on my plate, I try to eat the protein component first, and only if I still have room left do I move to the vegetable and then ultimately to the starch. It's not just about the main meals, though. You're going to be snacking at times through the day, or there may be times when you're busy at work, you don't have time for a entree. I try not to eat a lot of calories mm -hmm. in between my meals mm -hmm. uh, because you know when you're grazing you know that can get away from you so yeah. I found some good options I'll share with you. I'm a big fan of the Keurig, the K-Cups, the flavored coffees. These have no calories in them. Is that ice cream? It is. This is a brand called Arctic Zero and that's not 150 calories per serving that's 150 calories for the entire pint. Wow. This is four servings so there's only 37 calories per serving and then I like to pour on it the Walden uh, Farms chocolate syrup, which has got zero calories. And then that same company, Walden Farms, makes these peanut spreads. The plain peanut butter spread is terrible, but the cinnamon raisin, <laughs> you know, they're good. You say it's good. It says it's calorie free. Yeah, there's how, no calories. How is that even possible in a peanut spread? It's, it, you would think it's not possible. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here, man. I'll, I'll be honest. It's it's good enough to satisfy the need to sit down with a spoon yeah. and spoon something that's got some good flavor and you know it'll probably kill me Matt I don't know what's in here but it, it, it tastes better than 300 pounds felt 
That before and after split screen is unbelievable. As you can see, there are dramatic physical changes after weight loss surgery. But Ed's experienced plenty of emotional changes, too. We'll focus more on that coming up a little later. Throughout the show this morning, we've been showing you how uh, weight loss surgery has dramatically affected a local attorney's life. Ed Herman of Brown and Crouppen had gastric sleeve surgery a year ago. Since then, there have been a lot of changes, both physical and emotional. There's a lot more than just physical changes going on here. There are things that are changing mentally and relationships. Your wife, your kids, that's got to change too, right? It, it does change and, it, and not all for the better. Losing a lot of weight can have big changes, you know, in other areas of your life. Uh, I know that luckily I'm in a very strong marriage and, you know, eating is such a social thing with people, with families, with couples. You go out together. And, and I have to be honest, you know, during the process, it's tough. You know, my wife goes to a restaurant and she used to just enjoy whatever she was eating. And now, because I'm looking at every little thing I'm doing, right. she feels guilty about everything she's doing and she shouldn't because she didn't have the problem that I had. You know, she did things the right way. She is the same woman, but I've changed so much that it's had an impact on how she feels. But. But then you have my kids, who I'll, I'll get them in there as well, who they don't even realize yet how much more I can do with them than I wasn't able to do with them before. Uh, two weeks ago, we went on an overnight camping trip with the Boy Scouts, and I, I don't know that I would have done that a year ago. I wouldn't have physically been able to do a lot of the things that we were going to be asked to do, pitching the tent and doing that, and I would have had nowhere to plug in my CPAP. <laughs> so my apnea, I would have just been up the whole night, which I was anyway, but for different reasons. Yeah. So Better reasons. Um, yeah. Better reasons. Better reasons. Two more quick points, because first of all, everybody's wondering, how much weight have you lost? Well, when I went for the surgery, and I'm only five foot seven and a half, mm -hmm. I, was, I was just shy of 300 pounds, and now I'm like less than half that. Secondly, anything that you would do differently? If I could have afforded to do it, I would have done it even earlier and gotten in a few more years of enjoyment. He kind of alluded to cost there, by the way. It is not inexpensive, and not all insurance plans cover it. Ed had his surgery at Barnes Hospital. He speaks very highly of Dr. Egan. And if you have a legal question for the team at Brown and Crouppen, you can check out their website at getbc.com.